Okay, so we are going to start with our classic aromatics. We have onion, and we have some carrots, and we have some celery. I have garlic, but I'm going to wait until these uh, aromatics get a little softer and get the pan going. Never put your garlic in first because it tends to burn quickly. So it's good to get some other things in the pan for the garlic to uh, attach itself to. So I have two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of uh, avocado oil. And I'm just gonna let these simmer just a little bit and then start adding the layers. Now, this is a modernized Mo Wino version of my grandmother's Spanish rice, which I will say her spice, what I'm making up for here, is she used some dried onion soup mix and some Spanish paprika to make her Spanish rice. And this is my Spanish rice, so. Uh, we're just gonna let this saute for just a few minutes till the vegetables start to tenderize and uh, become translucent. And I think it's safe now to put the garlic in. Okay, the aroma factor just kicked up a huge amount. <laughs> So we'll let these saute just a bit, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so our rice is starting to crisp up and brown a bit. It's just to really open up the, uh, the rice itself. Now, although my aromatic vegetables I chopped finely, uh, this is one chopped yellow bell pepper. Um, you can really use any color you want, but I wanted to use um, yellow or orange because I just did not want the green in my rice because I'm making lime chicken, so the green is going to be into the chicken, in my theory, in my head. And now I have one can of chopped tomatoes, diced tomatoes. I didn't want the red peppers to, I wanted them to contrast between the tomatoes and the peppers, so that's another reason I didn't use a red pepper, and I didn't want a rice that looked like Christmas. <laughs> okay, so now we're all set with our rice and our vegetables, our paramedics, our aromatics rather, and now I have some broth that I had in the freezer, and I basically putting in almost the amount that a traditional rice, uh, box rice quantity, uh, liquid to ratio liquid, but I did not put the whole quantity in because we have to save some for our wine. This is leftover wine that I had from last night. I just put it in a jar because I knew it was going to be doing this recipe. Now most of you are saying, what? Leftover wine? Maureen? Mo Wine Oat House? How's that possible? It's possible, people. So we're going to let this simmer, and Mo Wine is actually going to have a glass of wine, and we'll bring it back. We're going to bring it to a boil, then let it, and then put a lid on it and simmer until we get all of this great absorption into our rice. Cheers.